I swear the hardest part of the video is getting myself set up so that I can talk to you guys. You know, when you're trying to fix your hair and, and get the girls in place and get your hair out of your face. Literally, that's the most hardest part for me in every video. I am loving this hair. Aren't you guys? Oh my god. And if you guys want to know how I got to this blonde color, from a dark brown color, a dark brown that I dyed it to, um, definitely leave a comment in the comment box down below and let me know if you guys want a tutorial on how to go this blonde from previously dyed brown hair. Um, I will definitely do a talk through and show you guys how I got to this blonde, but honestly it does require a skill set of cosmetology, at least knowing your research, knowing your color wheel, knowing a lot of things. So if you don't aren't familiar with those things, it's probably best for you to go to a professional or to somebody who knows a lot more about hair than you do. Um, not everybody knows about hair and that's okay. Everybody has their own set of skills and sometimes it's not cosmetology. Anyways. This video is not about hair. This video is about dating as a transsexual. Now, let's be honest. Dating isn't fun for anybody. It can either, it's one of those things that can either be extremely, that can go extremely well. Oh my gosh, my dogs. Sorry about that, my dogs are playing in the background. Um, dating is one of those things that can go extremely well or extremely bad. Well, dating can be extremely fun or it can be extremely boring. You know, it's one of those things that's either up here or down here. You can also have dates that are just kind of like, eh, but everybody has their own set of issues when it comes to their gender in dating in that gender specific area. Just like it's different, it's different for everybody dating. But let's be honest, the main problem when it comes to dating is feeling rejection. And nobody likes to feel rejection. Whether you're trans, gay, bisexual, uh, straight, you know, anything under the sun, nobody likes to be rejected. So it's hard for everybody. But we're here to talk about the specific hardships of transgendered people. So I don't want to hear anything in the comments about it's, date, it's hard for dating for this kind of person or it's hard for dating for this kind of person. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about transgendered people, in my opinions, on that. How it is to date as a transgendered person um, through living the life. Because I do personally believe that it's harder to date as a transgendered person than it is for any other type of gender. And I'll explain that further in the video. Okay, so for me personally, it's not hard to find dates. It's not hard to find a man that is attracted to me because in this day and age, as unfortunate as it sounds, if you're pretty enough, a guy is not going to care. And that's not to say that if you don't look passable, then he will. I mean, you still have a chance of getting a date, but if we're being honest, and I'm not saying I'm the most passable girl in the world, because to some people I may not be passable at all, but to some guys I may be very beautiful. But it is definitely harder for a transgender girl who is not passable to date than it is for a transgender girl who is passable. Now, from my own experience, I like to believe that I am passable. I have no problem getting dates. I get hit on all the time. And that's not to, to try to say I'm conceited or anything, but it's it's easy for me to get a date. It's not hard. So the, the hard part is getting a guy to be okay with the fact that you're transgender. Okay, so I'm sorry, that's not the hard part. You know, like, it's not hard for me to, to talk to somebody because they already know They'll know that I'm transgendered and I'll, you know, I'll tell them or whatever and usually you get the response of oh my gosh, you know, that's so gross or you get the response of you know, I don't care or you get the response of you know, like, oh, I've never done that before or you know, you get even people who are extremely upset about it and you can't blame them because you have to put yourself in that situation and if it, if it were to happen to you now, my specific beliefs on when to disclose your transgender is to wait at least three days. Day one, get to know the person. Day two, get a feel for, you know, if he's okay with the uh, LGBT community. And three, let him know. 
But when you let him know, make sure that you tell him in a way that it's not desperate. Don't make it sound like you are asking him to please accept you. Make it sound as if it's nonchalant. Like, this is what I say. Look, you seem sweet. And although I'd really like to continue getting to know you, I should tell you something. I'm a transsexual woman. And if that's something that you cannot look past, then feel, then definitely feel free to not reply. And usually I'll get a reply, you know, with whatever reply they say, it will be mostly positive than negative. So if, if you've gotten that far, that's where the hard part comes in because the hard part is now, is he gonna change this into a sexual relationship or is he gonna keep it the same? Because when he viewed you as a normal, tra uh, normal woman, uh, normal woman, uh, cisgendered woman, I'm sorry, he saw you as this woman that could have his kids, that is like, uh, you know, like, that can, he can provide for and he can love and blah, 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 and introduce to his parents and his family and his friends. But as soon as you disclose that you're transgender, all of that goes out the window. And it's like, oh, I can't introduce you to my family. I can't have kids with you. I don't want to provide for you. I don't want my family and friends making fun of me. So what leaves there is, but you're still hot. So what leaves, what leaves there is sex. So nine times out of 10, when you tell a guy that you're transgendered, there's a switch from you are so beautiful and I would love to get to know you. Once you tell him you're transgendered, it goes to, God damn, you're sexy. Like, would you do this to me? Would you do that? Would you like to do this? What do you have between your legs? What do you have this? What surgeries have you had? And most guys are really obsessed with it. So if you do go as far as to find a man who's not obsessed with it, if you're transgendered, you should be able to tell the difference between the men who want you for what you have and the men that don't care. By now, if you're if you're further into your transition, for the new girls, you have to experience that yourself. So you're gonna experience the chasers, you're gonna experience those guys that just want you for what you have, but eventually down the road, you will learn what's what and what you, what your worth is and what you deserve and you know, like the guys, the good guys from the bad guys, so to say. Um, it's, <laughs> like I said, if you get that far and you do, in fact, find a man that can look past it, that's the guy that you want to go on a date with. If you're talking to a guy and he, uh, he changes the subject from you're beautiful, you're amazing, I want you to meet me and hang out and, you know, I want to take you out to dinner to, hey, can I come over to your house and watch Netflix? Nine times out of ten, either the guy is going to be afraid to introduce you to anybody because he, you're transgender, or he's a chaser, which he just wants to have sex with you, or three, he wants to use you as an experiment, and he wants to just experiment with you and see if he likes it or not, but he will never take you seriously. So it's important for us as transgendered women, as beautiful transgendered women, to let them know that we are not desperate. We don't care. If you don't want me, there's a hundred guys that do. So in my inbox, when I date, I, I like to use OkCupid okay or POF. That's not to say I'm still on those websites. That's just what I used. And Honestly, I would get blown up. If you're a woman, you get blown up all the time, especially if you're attractive. You get blown up all the time, so many messages all the time. But if a man makes you feel like you are not a woman and you tell him and he gets angry with you and he tells you that you're a freak and you're a man and blah, 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 just reply with a smiley face and LOL and move on. 
no blocking, no anything. Just let him say whatever he wants and just put a smiley face, even put a kissy face, a kissy face. Kill them with kindness because that's the best way to let somebody know that you don't give a shit about what they have to say. So if they're sitting there telling you that you are an abomination, you're disgusting, I don't, I don't have any respect for you anymore. You know, like, I'm done, don't message me again. Just simply reply, LOL, kissy face, bye, and reply to the next message. Because nine times out of ten, there's going to be another message. So don't waste your time on a man that you've never met before. Don't waste your time. Don't be a keyboard warrior and get upset and explain to him the entire history of transsexualism and you and how you're a straight woman. Just let him go on about his way and you go on to the next guy. Because chances are the next guy might be okay with it and he might continue to talk to you and he might not care. The guys that you want to look out for, that you want, are the guys who just say, oh, okay, well, you're still beautiful. Or if they say things like, oh, I didn't know that, but um, I may, I never done that before, but that's okay. And then never bring it up again. That is so important, especially to all you young transgendered girls. The man who doesn't bring it up is the man you want to go on a date with, not the guy who talks about it all the time. If a guy talks to you about it all the time and he wants to know what surgeries you'll have and all this kind of stuff, there's a respectful way to ask a transgendered woman about her transgender self, you know what I mean, about all things that are um, transgendered aspects when it comes to herself, there's definitely a respectful way. So some guys can kind of sneak in those questions and ask you in a respectful way, but you're just like, he's obsessed with the fact that I'm transgender, but he's being so nice and sweet and he's not like being super sexual with me. Those guys you still have to watch out for as well because they are obsessed with the fact that you're transgendered and whether they're asking you in a nice way or a creepy way, they are still asking you. And a normal guy who wants a normal relationship with a woman will not ask her personal, you know, sexual questions about her anatomy. If I was just a normal woman and you thought that I had my boobs done, you wouldn't ask me if I got my boobs done. You'd wait a little bit. You'd wait a little while and then you would ask me. But because I'm transgendered, for some reason, guys have it in their heads that now I told you I'm transgendered, so all doors are open. This, this girl is, this is coming from the man's point of view. This girl is desperate, she's just all about sex, she will give me head, she'll stay in the shadows, I don't have to introduce her to anybody, you know, like, this is just purely sexual. And they're gonna treat you like that. They're gonna treat you like you're nothing and you're a piece of shit and all you're good for is sex. And that can really hurt your ego. It can really hurt your pride. And it can really hurt you inside if you let it continue. Now, there are certain people who, it's, like I said, if it's harder for you to get a date, you will settle for those types of men. But like I said, that has to do with you and your self-worth and what you believe you are worth. You know, I hope that you would think that you're worth more than that because there's somebody out there for everyone. You don't have to settle. But dating is never going to be extremely easy for anybody. The most passable girl will still have the same issue as the most unpassable girl. We're all still transgendered and we still have to disclose our... our the fact that we are transsexual. Well, we have to. Even if we had the surgery, we still have to disclose that fact because the fact of the matter is we were not born female. And here's where the transgendered women get it wrong. When you meet a guy and everything's going well and you do not disclose the fact that you are transgendered. Now, when you do not tell him, 
after a couple days of getting to know you, you are in the wrong. Now, let me explain. Now, there's different ways to go about meeting people. Now, I'm mostly talking about online dating because if you meet a guy in person, then that comes with a whole new set of rules. Because if you meet him in person, mostly nine times out of ten, I've been saying that a lot throughout this video, he's not going to know that you're transgender, so you still have to disclose it, and you're still going to have to text him, you know, that kind of information because you want to keep yourself safe. You don't want to tell him to his face because there's a chance that he could hurt you. Your safety comes first. So it's easier, in my opinion, for transgender women to date online. And it's 2015, honestly, like, we all date online. Who doesn't date online, honestly? Like, come on. Like, everything's online, you know what I mean? So, that being said, you might be thinking, well, Monica, why should I have to tell him? It's none of his business. It's not my fault that he thinks I'm attractive. And, you know, like, if he wants to have sex with me, then I can tell him. Well, you go ahead and do that, girl. But if you get your face bashed in by this guy, I'm not going to say nothing. Because you did that to yourself. I'm not saying that that's right. Nobody deserves to get hurt or killed for who they are or what they have. Nobody deserves that. But if you know... It's like if somebody says there is a man-eating monster in this room, don't go in there. And you go in there knowing that it's in there. If you get killed, you kind of brought it on yourself. And I don't believe that it's the same as saying, you know, you know a girl deserves to get raped if she's wearing skimpy clothing because it's not. Because if you know the repercussions of what's going to happen to you, if you potentially, if you lie to this person, just be safe. Put your safety first. Put yourself first when you're dating. So you not telling him is not helping anybody. It's not helping him accept you. It's not helping you be honest with him. And it's not helping starting off a relationship with dishonesty. You have to start off a relationship with honesty. You can't lie to this guy because the fact of the matter is you were not born a female or male, vice versa. You were not born that way. You are a transgendered person and you just have to get over that fact. There are plenty of eligible bachelors and beautiful women that would love to date a transgendered person and has no issue with it because a lot of people just see you as another woman or another man. I'm saying vice versa for um, female to male transgender people. Um, you just have to be careful and put yourself first. My two biggest tips are make sure that you tell him. Tell him that you're transgender just to keep yourself safe and just to... I mean like if you don't tell a guy that you're transgender fine you know what I mean like he's gonna find out he's gonna find out one way or another and it's better for him to find out for you just being honest and telling him straightforward than to wait for him to find out himself that can really upset people and with all these murders happening to transgendered women lately you don't want to add to that you want to Try to keep yourself safe. Don't do anything that could potentially bring you harm. I think dating for people, can, for women in general, can be dangerous because you are essentially meeting strangers from the internet. You are meeting one person that you've only seen pictures of at a you know, area <laughs> in the world that you decide to meet at, and it's a complete stranger. You don't know who's going to show up. There are a lot of cases of catfishing, so the best way to go about online dating is to just be honest. I prefer to tell the guy right away, but here's where you have to, they have to compromise. 
Now, just because they're interested doesn't mean that you are. Don't be interested in everything that walks just because you're transgender. You're not desperate. You are, you're fine. You know what I mean? Like, you don't need to date. Don't be desperate because that's what gives the men this excuse to just be sexual with us right from the beginning. And I honestly hate that so much because it switches up so fast. Like, they are into it, girl. And then you tell them that you're transsexual and it's like, oh my God, I want to have sex with you so bad. I want to do this to you. I want to do that to you. I want you to do this to me. And it's just like, that sucks because I really like this guy. Next, you know what I mean? Like, it sucks because you meet some great guys and then all of a sudden it switches up and you have to let him go. That's the hard part for transgendered people when it comes to dating, not getting dates, but letting them accept the fact that you're transgendered and how they accept it. So just make sure that you're honest. And like I said, this is where they have to compromise. You don't have to tell them right from the beginning because just because you're attracted, because they're attracted doesn't mean you are. Just because they want to talk to you doesn't mean you want to talk to them. So they can't assume that you should tell them right off the bat. And a lot of guys are going to ask you, why didn't you tell me right off the bat? Like right when you guys first met. And you can counteract with, it was none of your business. I didn't even know if I was interested in you. All I was doing was replying. And it's not my fault that you're attracted to me. It's not my fault. You thought I was pretty because I present to the world a, a woman. I guess I'm a transgendered woman, but I have the same aspects as a cisgendered woman. So, you know what I mean? Like, that's what I am. That's the life that I live. That's the gender that I have on my ID. My birth certificate, my social is female. I am female, so that's what I radiate. And you, you saw that, and you said that this person is attractive. That's not my fault. I'm just living my life. It's not my fault that you thought I was pretty. I know that, like, it's not like... I'm not, like, messaging you and trying to talk to you and then, you know, I, I, I didn't tell you off the bat. It's like you're messaging me and I'm not telling you right off the bat because I want to know if you're even worth me telling. What's the point of shaking somebody's hand and telling them you're transgendered? You're not shaking my hand and telling me if you have herpes. You're not shaking my hand and telling me if you have kids. You're not shaking my hands and telling me if you have some type of disease. You're not telling me your personal medical history because it's none of my goddamn business yet. It's not realistic for me to tell every transgender, every man that wants to date me that I'm transgendered with a handshake. Right when I meet you, it is not necessary for me to tell you that I am transgendered because there's no reason for it. Because I may not even want to talk to you. You may not even be my type. Now that's not to say to wait a long time. You know, that's where people, that it kind of gets tricky. You have to kind of weigh it out and, and see when you can tell this person or if you can tell this person you know like you don't want to wait longer than a week but you want to tell him as soon as possible you don't want to tell him too soon because then he won't get a chance to really get to know you and all he's going to base you know getting to know you off of is being transgender you know so you could meet a guy and you tell him right off the bat and he's not interested because you're transgender or you can meet a guy talk to him for three days he gets to know you and then you disclose your information and he might think, wow, you're a really cool person, you're really beautiful, maybe I can give this a shot. You're not trying to trick these men into dating you. What you're doing is you're being a normal human being. You are not telling people your medical history right from the beginning because they don't. They don't shake your hand with their dick and they don't, they don't tell you everything about themselves at a, you know with a handshake when you first meet somebody they don't tell you all their information because it's not necessary just because I message you doesn't mean you have to message back I have kids I have this I have that talk to me first ask me my name where I'm from what do I do for a living get a feel for me 
then you can start telling me that you like me and you want to get to know me more and blah, 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 blah. That's when you want to disclose your information, not right off of the bat. Because if you tell me you have a kid right off the bat, I'm just going to be like, okay, like, you know, whatever. <laughs> it's not, you cannot, you can't tell them too soon and you can't tell them too late. So it gets kind of confusing sometimes. Sometimes you might miss out on a guy because you waited too long to tell him and it's too late. And if you tell him, you know that he might just get mad at you or, you know, whatever. I say just always take that chance. Tell him right from the beginning. And nine times out of ten, most men are not going to care. Most men are just kind of like, okay, you know, like whatever. I don't care. You know what I mean? You are still beautiful and you're still a woman to me. And most men aren't going to care. So just put your safety first and do not be desperate. Do not give these men the the power to think that just because we tell them we are transgendered that it's okay to ask us anything they want about our bodies because it's not fair and it's not okay. So you have to know how to reply to these guys and you have to know how to push the wrong ones away and reel the good ones in. It's gonna be hard for you if you're just starting to date as a transgendered woman, but you'll get there. You'll get to the point where you are able to choose, pick and choose which guys are good for you. And you may not be right every single time. Sometimes there might be a guy that you thought was good for you and he turned out to just be a chaser. People change. People change. So it's kind of like a, a random, just a random toss. It's Some things are good and sometimes, you know, you can meet a guy and tell him a month later and that ends up being the love of your life. You could tell a guy the first day you meet him and he could be the love of your life. People are different. People don't, aren't all the same. Now you might meet a guy who thinks you're fucking disgusting and you might meet a guy who thinks you're the queen of the world. And who knows, you might meet, meet some good friends along the way. Dating is not fun because nobody likes to be rejected. But just putting yourself out there and trying and knowing that you are beautiful and you don't need a man to dictate who you are and what you are and how, like, if you're a woman or if you're beautiful, you don't need a man for any of that. So if a guy tells you anything otherwise, tell him to fuck off because he's an idiot. And there's plenty more guys. There's plenty of fish in the sea. So that's my rant on dating as a transsexual. If I left out anything, just leave it in the comment box down below and I'll, I'll chat with you guys about it. Um, a lot of you guys are interested in these types of videos talking about transgendered issues specifically. So I will be making more videos. Um, I promise to put out at least two videos a month. Um, Anyways, other than that, follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I'll put the links in the description box down below. Um, what else? Subscribe if you haven't. It's free and I'm amazing. Get it together. Don't you want to see these girls again? If you're, if you're a guy watching this or a lesbian, don't you want to see these again? You know, like, get it together. Anyways, yeah, that's going to be it for me. I love you guys so much for watching. And like always, until next time.